Hey, you tourists, it's your boy Domination. This is Back in the Base. It's Chugging the Deuces. How we do text, baby. Man, I does back. You know what it is, know what it is, know what it is. Real men rise up, fake men rise down. Real women rise up, fake women rise down. Right to where I preach or preach on. And today's topic we're going to talk about is. I don't, I don't understand the, the mindset that, I don't understand that the anger towards of another race because somebody do something better than the other person. I bet you white men and black women do think like this. I bet you they do. Notice, because it, it, it's, it's called interracial data in America. I'm going to put this in the list because y'all can watch it yourself. It's sad that there are people think like this. I'm going to tell you that after this commentary, please listen to the white guys' side of their stuff, how they feel, and how the black women's side of feel. And I'm going to give you my commentary on this. Please listen to this. Like, that's disgusting, but to them, it's like, you know, being a white chick. Like, obviously, I 
I see an international couple, a black man with a white woman. I feel ashamed. Oh, because God. black men are I'm telling you, the misconception comes when we as a people, we as African Americans, are so confident in ourselves that we don't understand the humanity. We don't understand that men are designed to be leaders, that there is productive leadership, and while we are the dominating force, very, very intelligent, powerful force of a creature on this earth, at the same time, we have to succumb and compliment our men. That is something that the stereotype would want me to do. So when I see a black man with a white woman, I feel like, no, he's not the same. Because there's always that component that's lacking, which is me, which is that black woman. But if we, I just feel like if he had the right black woman sitting next to him, he would show her more affection than he's ever shown her. Because he has a black woman. That not only can appreciate him, but that he can turn and appreciate him. You don't have to go to, you know, bleach. He can do his regular time. It's just food. The first thing that comes to my head is pop out. That's pretty much what comes to my head. Because, I mean, and when I see them, you know, they may be a normal couple. I'm not tripping out half my man. So I'm not worried about him. But when I see him, I'm thinking pop out. Why? Because it takes a real man to help hold down a black family household. That's just what it takes. I mean, um, when you look at women and you look at history of women and our men, you know, a lot of, a lot of this stuff comes from the men not being in the household oh, and the women not being men and all of this stuff. But what happened with that was black women were left on their own. So you get a black woman who has a fighter left on her own, she can fight. So when you come to her, you want her to submit to you, and that's fine. Black women are willing to submit, but you got to give me something to submit to. You know, and so when so I see him with a white woman, she's more than willing to follow, I guess you could say, the stereotypes of my anger and what I see. You know, uh, to submit to him, there's no not bringing a lot of it to the table. Um, and I think black women, on the other hand, have a hard time with that because we have a lot more pressures, if you will. So, I mean, you have to, when I tell a man when I start dating him, that you, you have to come in and play your role. If you want me to submit, you have to play your role. Other than I will completely take your role, my role, and take your role and run because we're going to make it. And that's that type of mentality, that type of independence causes problems. Uh, I see a racial couple. I see they 
love each other and not have to deal with all the bullshit that goes along with being an interracial couple. Because everybody knows that if you're not a being mm -hmm. an interracial couple, you gotta deal with stuff from both the black side and the white side or the Asian side or the green side or the Asian side, whichever side. So it's got to be a situation where people really care about each other because of society. I see a, a black woman and a white man and they are in the mall or when they're sitting in a restaurant trying to eat and they walk in together, especially if she's getting the attention that I feel she deserves just being a black woman. Uh, I, I get happy. I get elated because I feel like that woman has realized that she has standards. She realized that she did not have to be trapped inside of a stereotype or a stereotype, and she can step outside and not be afraid of what everybody else is thinking and just do what makes her feel good. So I, I'm happy for any woman that's that's outside of her race or even considers it. When I see a black woman with a white man. I think I don't know why we're going to do this. Oh, boy. And the bigger issue for me is how is she fulfilled? And when you have Mark, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, what is she doing if February rolls around? And is she the only teacher in the household when she has her child? Does he just sit there and pretend to learn about our history because he absolutely cannot relate to it? He can only sympathize with our people, maybe shed a tear, maybe some liquid formula in the crevice of his eye because he cannot empathize with the woman that he chooses to walk with. I just wonder what kind of fulfillment she gets. I wonder what led her astray. What makes her feel like she can be completed by someone that can't even completely understand her? How can she make it? Oh, your mother is a prime example of something like the epitome of a maternal caring caregiver. She is the divine entity that everyone in some regards seeks after, specifically a man. So, how does she feel adequate? I just, it bothers me. I just look at how I attempt to understand her mentality because I simply don't. I simply cannot see myself standing next to a man that I can overpower, that I know that I'm more dominant than you. I mean, I'm not even, I'm not, I'm not, this is my soliloquy, huh? I can literally dominate. I don't care how smart he is and intelligent and close We all got school, congratulations. But when it comes to a black man that I know makes me want to stand up and be his black man, that I know he can take me anywhere and I represent him well and he represents me well. I just, it's, I'm almost speechless and that's rare. But I am taken aback by the entire scenario, just the vision of even thought of something that insane. See, I know for me when I see a black woman want a white man, um, I know some of the typical stereotypes of being well, she wants him for his money. He must have a lot of money. I mean, because that probably would be the reason why I'm dating him. So I can see why we would say that stereotype. But I actually look at it on the flip side. Wow, look at that trophy he has. That's actually how I look at it. Let me explain why. Sisters have the best bodies, the best speeches of any race, the ones that we can have. And we can, and I'm gonna tell, and let me, let me go a little bit further to tell you how I know that's true. If you go to Hollywood, any person or any other race, if they do anything black, they are famous. Jayla, Beyonce didn't have no big booty since she got in the game at 16. Jane will come in with a um, butt and she gets recognized for a butt. Black women been having butt our whole life. We're born with it. But she gets famous and insured on her head. That trips me out. So anything of a black woman, a white man to me, feels like he has a trophy because he does. I see that. I see that. Wow. Whoa. I don't think I'm going to treat you. 
Let me let me stop right here. Let me stop right here. You know what when you watch the video, right? But let's go at the white guys. I know I don't want to generalize most white guys, but but we gotta go there. Most majority of white guys think that when they see a hot, hot uh looking looking attractive white girl. They've been thinking, damn, they stole our women. I understand where they come from, but you know what's so funny? These are the same dudes, one of their ancestors, their slave masters that fuck and rape white, rape, rape black women and white women. That's funny. And then fat men falsely accused raping white women. Maybe if they did or rape a, a white woman or rape a black woman. I'm telling you, white men and black men are both guilty with this mindset. I, that that let's get up the white guy first, then black man. I don't get why white men think the mindset they got white fellas. I don't know why they think like that. Most quite a few white guys wouldn't care. But most of them they get this thing like Damn, they taking our women. Get your ass and get that damn woman. I mean, it's just you know the, the way the way they speak like that. I wouldn't care if if a black woman mess with a, a black a, a black woman mess with a white guy. I wouldn't care. It is what it is. But soon as a black guy mess with, uh, soon soon let it be a black guy mess with a white woman. That's gonna be a problem. Now you got some black men got offended by by that with a a a, 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 a black woman mess with a white guy and which they shouldn't. I feel like if you love somebody, you love them. You know, it's the same thing. Black men love that white woman. If a white guy love that black woman, if a if a black woman love that white man, if 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 a white woman love that black man, that wouldn't problem. The problem is, is this scientific racism did all this damage. Because of that, it 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 is. It, 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 not every white guy think like that. There's some good, there's some great white fellas out there, but most of them ignorant. They get this thing that damn, they fuck with our women. In other words, they killing our race. But it's funny, they out there mess with a lot of women out there. 
Oh, they can do it, but no one else can't do it. See that 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 right that right there, I don't like. I don't like black men do that as well. And white women do this and and, and, and black women do this as also. They need to stop doing that. If anybody can't date nobody, then you shouldn't be doing it as well. Everybody deserves to date who they want to date. It could be black, white, whatever. People don't date who they want to date. You don't own that person, that person don't own you. People have the right to see other people. Including white guys and even black black men, white women, black women, they both need to stop it. But when you hear a couple of dudes, white guys, stop, you hear the white dude talking. He said when he see a a a a, a, a white woman with a black man, he thinking and, and damn he he she she been she been she been um been been smashing sm really smashing on smashing on with a with a black man, basically doing better than him. See this right there. That that's that's the that's the mindset. The other white guys wouldn't care, but quite a few of them like, you know. But they don't say long as love. I mean, to to me, I know most white guys think like this, but but they gotta look at it's 2015. See, they they need to learn. Anybody going going swerve in the kissing their ass all the goddamn time just because the accomplishment they did, yeah. I give them that. Just like they ain't gonna, they, whites ain't gonna kiss black people ass. It goes both ways. Scientific racism should have never been created. Because of this, it became a racial problems in America. Now, I already done with the get at the white. I already done discussion with how white dudes been felt of they seen their women date a black men. Let's talk a discussion with a black woman, see their man dating a white girl. And and first thing she talking about this this woman talking about she's a queen, and and, and another thing they always talking about especially sisters why y'all always talking about uh, 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 a good a good black man y'all always talk like that because most of y'all didn't bring a household and this and that and you and y'all make y'all men work too hard you hear what the black woman meant the other female will work too hard but this woman called herself a queen and I mean that. That right there, she just, she just, she just is is, is more more ignorant, ignorant, is ignorant, ignorant so just as much as the white dudes. I mean, and, but white dudes and, and 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 black women got that same hatred, passion at at, at the black men for some reason. I mean, it, it just it just crazy. People hate to see see somebody somebody do better than another person. They need to stop it, you know, cause they, cause they know what it's like being discriminated. And y'all turn around and did the same thing. That, that that I don't get that. They are afraid. Black women look at this. We gave birth to black men all our lives. They should be faithful to us and and and, and be 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 loyal to us, only to us. No other woman should be loyal to him but black woman. But some woman is more lo more loyal than, than a black woman to 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 that to their man. They're gonna have an issue with this. White guys think like this too. Who gave birth to the white guys? White women, and for some reason, they feel like the woman should stay 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 stay, stay and very loyal and meant meant to loyal to them. But as soon as their woman ain't loyal to them no more, they're gonna have a problem with this. I mean, I'm gonna say it like this: Who gave birth to black women? I mean, who gave birth to uh, who gave birth to black men? Black women. So they both need to stop with this passion and hatred. Because if they can get somebody, they, the black men can get somebody, and white women can, uh, get somebody too. But let's go at the black men. I'm done going at the black women how they felt. And already, already, already done the white guys how they felt about their women dating the black men. I already done how the black woman how she felt about her men. Uh, 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 I already done about white guys how they felt about their women dating black men. But I, but I already done about black women how they felt their men dating a white woman. Let's go at the black men. For some reason, black men they they get this thing that. That 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 we you know we, the only the only one who gon' the only w women gonna say black men is black women, but we gotta start saving ourselves and just like they gotta save themselves. 
I wouldn't care if a sister dated a white guy or any man. If I'm happy for her, she I hope I hope that man would treat her right. Just like I do the same treat the other females are right. I would treat a white woman right just like I treat a sister. This is something that, that society needs to stop doing right there. Because that show they really true colors. That says more about a person than anybody. You see a few black men, they like they gotta prove improvement about they something. And but but yet uh, uh, but yet, you know, the other black men talking about, well, if a black man with with a white girl, they got to deal with all the crap, all the bullshit, which is true with white and black, because because you got to deal with a lot of stuff because they're afraid that they're killing their race. They whites and blacks can't relate to each other. They have to learn to relate to each other because they different, you know, and also but let it be a black woman with a white guy. What's the first thing think in their mind? Oh, she just she just disgusted of her race and she don't feel proud and she have a, a dating issue with black men and we gotta show and prove she can give brothers a chance. Just as much as the sisters feel like black black feel like black women felt like brothers should have a chance with them. I mean for some reason they they, they, they sound just like these white brothers are, then you hear the black woman. Um, the, then you hear the white woman side. That if they see their women, I mean, I mean, they see their men. They see their men dating a black woman. That's low self-esteem. Feel disgusted and feel disgraceable because she gonna be loud talking to him just like the loud talk, but because they don't treat their men right, just like white women does. Let me say to this. And next thing you know, white women going to say it's, it, it, it's okay for them and lovable, even though they afraid what the baby's going to look like if a black woman, I mean, if a, if a, if a white if a white woman mess with a black man, what the baby's going to turn out to be. Let me say to this. Everybody deserves somebody. Everybody. Fuck the races from any other race aside, black or white. Or any other race, white, uh, white, and Asian, or Latino, black, or Latino, and white, whatever. Everybody deserves somebody. But you know what the wrong with society today? They too focus on the color line. We got to break out of that barrier as color line and start looking people individual as people. That's sad because it shows a lot that they believe in this scientific racism. That's the problem. Trying to say people invaded by monkeys from the modern man, sex with the modern ape woman, and and and, and integrated a mind graded of a race of certain different type of species men from human relationship of animals and animal relationship to people from Charles Darwin that that Charles Darwin of uh, Dickman. I mean, it just it just show you a lot that. This society got to work on, got to work to do when it comes to involving race. But I will tell you this, man, that you got to love yourself enough. Long as you love yourself enough, you will find any love, any love people will love, you, love themselves enough. They will love you for who they are. You got to love them for who you are. If nothing else and get into love, nothing else will ever get to love. All right? All right. It's your boy, Domination. This is back in the base of Chuck Deuces. I would do text, baby. Until next time. All right? All right. Peace and I'm out.